Let us move on to the concept of Coulomb's law. So this person called as Charles Augustine de Coulomb. So because of this person, this law is called as Coulomb's law. The force between two charged bodies was studied by Coulomb in the year of 1785. According to Coulomb, he states that the force of attraction or repulsion between two point charges is directly proportional to the product of charges and is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. So Q1 and Q2 is considered to be the product of charges whereas the distance between them which is R over here is the considered to be the inverse proportionality of the square of distance between them. So the formula specification in terms of force of attraction according to Coulomb will be K into Q1 into Q2 divided by R square. So the direction of forces will be along the line joining the two point charges. Let us consider Q1 and Q2 be the two point charges which is placed in air or vacuum at a distance r. Then according to the Coulomb's law we can derive force which is proportional to Q1 into Q2 divided by r square or else we can Deploy it as F equal to K into Q1 divided by Q2 divided by R square. Over here, K is nothing but the constant of proportionality. So in R or vacuum, the value of K will be 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught. Here epsilon naught is indicating the permittivity of free space. It might be in vacuum. And from this, the value of epsilon will be 8. 854 into 10 to the power of minus 12 c square n to the power of minus 1 m to the power of minus 2 units. So thereby we can yield the first equation which is nothing but force f equal to the value of k will be 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught which is the value we are substituting over here into q1 divided by q2 divided by this r square. So this was the first equation and we knew that the value of 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught is 9 into 10 to the power of 9 n m squares to the power of minus 2. See on substituting the values for 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught over here we also substitute the value for charges that is Q1 into Q2 which is 1C and the value of R is 1 meter apart. By substituting the values over here, we'll be getting this was the numerical term is 1 over here and this was 1 square which is as well 1. So the answer which we got for the force is 9 to 10 to the power of 9 n. So from this we can define 1 coulomb. So 1 coulomb is defined as the quantity of charge which when placed at a distance of 1 meter apart in air or vacuum from an equal and similar charge which is experiencing or experiences a repulsive force of 9 into 10 to the power of 9 n that is n is indicating the Newton unit. Apart from this, if the charges are situated in a medium of permittivity, the first thing which we have seen is in a medium of vacuum or else free space. We have considered vacuum as well. Here we are considering the medium of permittivity that is epsilon. Then the magnitude of the force between them will be Fm equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon into Q1 Q2 divided by R square. Where we knew that F is indicating the Coulomb's force
Now we got to divide the equation 1 by 2. The equation which we got before is f equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 into q2 divided by r square. Over here if you see we have fm equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon q1 into q2 divided by r square. On dividing these two equations that is dividing equation 1 divided by equation 2 will be having f divided by fm which is equal to this term this 1 divided by 4 pi and 1 divided by 4 pi on both the sides will be getting cancelled and as well q1 divided by q2 divided by r square is similar on both the cases on dividing it it will be getting cancelled the only thing which will be having over here is epsilon naught and epsilon so f divided by fm equal to epsilon so this will be having the reciprocal so we'll be having epsilon divided by epsilon naught which is nothing but epsilon r that is nothing but the relative permittivity. We knew that the ratio of epsilon divided by epsilon naught equal to epsilon r which is considered to be the relative permittivity or as we can say the dielectric constant of the medium. So the value of epsilon r for air or vacuum will be 1. Since as we got fm equal to epsilon divided by epsilon naught by, by gradually we can deploy the force between two point charges depends on the nature of the medium in which the two charges are situated.